this point should be that it uh, mirrors your personality it should be about you it should give uh, the viewer a glimpse of what you are how you think how you um, attempt design how you look into you know um, creating better design better better looking views better sheets a good architecture portfolio is like a good movie i guess and first of all you should compose a portfolio before actually you start making it so actually you compose it on a paper or something like that and uh, you should know that what what we are going for some of the time people just dump everything and just send it across for multiple forms which should ideally not be the case since portfolio is a representation of work which will be used as a mode of relation that a firm can say okay you are capable of doing this hence you come and work with us see specifically there are two things one is the pictorial pictorial presentation and other is the detailed presentation of the same thing firstly like as per the human habit we have we generally don't like to read much so the pictorial presentation that we are depicting is very much important in terms of sketches in terms of the 3d models if we can present them in a better manner the work flows the uh, the project flows and the, the design processes so if we can present them in a better pictorial version and i think that is more i catch it try to showcase work that is going to um highlight your the diversity in your skill set the best um so try to include modeling um both uh digital and uh, physical um rendering um sketches if you have any um you know any scripting related work or even and documentation projects has to be sorted out in a way that your work along with the requirement of the firm for that particular position should be taken up so there could be a venn diagram in which uh, there are bunch of projects that you have there is requirement of the firm and whatever comes into the intersection that has to be uh grouped in one portfolio so try to not repeat too much of the same thing um so if you've worked on multiple project types um that's always sort of good to show um and if you especially if you've worked on if your role on the project was um different um from one another then um it's always good to highlight that too things small things even things like composition the text that is uh, supporting text as written um things like the color scheme basic things like these also matter because they kind of reflect how much you've thought about these things how much are you willing to you know go uh, above and beyond what i realized like the biggest thing that people lack is like the narrative and the vision so usually they make like a generic portfolio and send it to all the firms thinking that that's what's working and they don't think about specifying certain projects which are in sync with the form that they're applying for in even for the people who send uh, say you're applying for a sustainability form or a computation design form they would want to see a portfolio which is in sync with their principles and their design language so it's great to slightly tweak portfolios if you really want to work for a certain form so your portfolio has to be in sync with their design ideology some people have zero like a uh, creative bent and they want to put all the technical stuff in some people are vice versa and that i think always that creates like a gap for the people who are looking at the portfolio so they would like to see like how you balance your portfolios among these three systems that is like art creativity and uh, technical understanding so i think it's very important to be able to document your skills uh, meaning if you're good at diagrams then your portfolio should reflect that if you're good at technology then your portfolio should reflect that but i think overarching idea is that you should always have a narrative about yourself what is it that you're interested in where is it that you want to take your career and your skills should um uh you know kind of tie into that so that when uh, people see your portfolio they can see that you're skilled but they also understand your narrative what is it that you're interested in what is it that you will bring to the office um and i think that's that's the key thing that people look for uh before they want to interview you